Jennifer, let's move on to you and talk about some of the patient experiences and clinical side of things. Who have you been using the helmet on and what have you been seeing? Well, and first of all, thank you for having us, Casper. So we started working with the Weber technology probably about seven, eight years ago in our own clinic and started working with them more professionally about maybe six, seven years ago, something like that. Time flies it in the clinical facility and also working with other physicians and colleagues myself, we see a lot of work in the use of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, post-stroke. Uh, we also are doing quite a bit with neurological Lyme. Uh, patients also, or people in general that are just looking for general improvements. We've had some very uh, positive feedback also from clients that are utilizing the helmets in their homes for everywhere from dizziness to difficulty with eyesight to um, vascularity issues, just because we know that light increases circulation as well, but also infrared, as Robert was saying, penetrates much deeper, especially into the skull. Studies have shown that it can some, somewhere go between four to five centimeters past skull, so up to three centimeters into brain tissue. The other thing that we have been clean, clinically treating in our own practice has been many patients with glioblastomas. So we designed a protocol utilizing some specific oral uh, support and then having them do the helmet twice a day on different frequency settings as well with glioblastoma. Now, of course, we can't say that it's 100% that, but we will say that these patients that are doing this in combination with other immune therapies they weren't getting the same results previously until adding in and adjusting with the use of the Weber helmet. And we've had probably about 10 to 15 patients in the past couple of years with glioblastoma that have reported in MRIs and brain scans between a 50 to 80% reduction in tumoral size within about a month to two month period. So that was pretty impressive. Uh, of course, we can't say that in every case, but it was very impressive and very promising. Uh, it's so easy to use as well. It even comes with these little foam pads that you can stick on the inside of the helmet to adjust it to different head sizes. So we have a lot of families that will utilize it, especially families that are affected by chronic infections, Lyme disease, neurological disorders. They'll even have the children utilize it. Yeah, it, it is really easy to use. At the same time, I will say there are some settings that are available with it as well, including frequency and strength. Jennifer, can you go in a little bit on what those are and how you can make this a little bit more personalized? And if someone was going to take it home, is there a setting that they just set it and forget it and can use? <laughs> so yes, there's different settings. So one is you can just use the, the helmet on its consistent wave, which is great. That would be a setting, you know, a set it and forget it. What's great about this too, is you can actually set the time. So you can do anywhere from five minutes up to 30 to an hour your time. So you can be sitting there reading a book or watching TV or even taking a nap while you're using, like, utilizing the helmet. There, it does come with a frequency box, and the frequency box is very helpful when we're dealing with quite a few neurological disorders, especially because you can pre-program into the helmet a hertz level, so a frequency, which will change the brainwave pattern. So many have heard of delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma, different, you know, brave wave pat, brave, I can't talk to me, brainwave patterns. So we know, for example, we will quite frequently use 10 hertz in the stroke, um, depression, 40 hertz we'll do for Alzheimer's and dementia. Uh, just for general treatment, we'll do continuous, so that's zero. And the most commonly used, used most frequently would be between 38 and 10. With the helmet, there is a little page document that comes with the different hertz levels and what each hertz level will relate to what brainwave, whether it's alpha, beta, theta, delta, et cetera. So that also helps people give a guideline for use at home. Um, and I would say that, especially with stroke, we've seen some impressive improvements in a short amount of time utilizing the 10 hertz setting and continuous wave setting on a daily basis for about a week. There's already improvement in motor functions, speech, um, pressure in the head, dizziness. It's, it's quite impressive. 
We've seen some great results already utilizing it in the clinic. 